The wild action may be going on on the track over by the pole vault pit. Former Division I pole vault athlete Gabrielle Mejia hosting a coaches clinic for some of the athletes. Um, so basically, I've been pole vaulting for the past 15 years. I was a Division I athlete in Connecticut. Um, I'm now here in the Bahamas for the past three years. I've had two kids, and I'm back to coaching again. I've coached all over the United States, been to a lot of clinics, a lot of summer camps, and um, I saw, you know, last year that Anaya was in the Carifta Games and um, Brendan, and I know KJ also. And, you know, I'm just really here trying to grow the sport, trying to bring more people involved and get more people jumping high. <laughs> That's basically what we're here for. A lot of people are interested in terms of this um, national track and field, the high school championships here. A lot of coaches have come to me and said a lot of um, athletes are interested, even some people from the family islands. So we're definitely trying to get more clinics, more summer camps involved for all the athletes. So we can definitely grow the sport. There's a lot of interested athletes. Shawnee Milawebo tying up, but it doesn't matter. It's gold for the Olympic champion. On May 4th and 5th, the sun will shine down on the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Hundreds of the world's best track athletes from more than 40 countries will compete to qualify for their spot at the Paris Olympics.